click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, welcome back to the subject of machine design 1. We are right now learning about the C-frame design and today we are going to look at a numerical which is based on C-frame design. So this is a C-frame which we are familiar with given with this particular cross section. The cross section here is T. The load is given which C-frame is going to support which is 10 kN. The distance between the point of curvature or the center point of curvature and the end point of the load or the application of load given is 1000 mm. The thickness term is given for the inner radius. So inner radius is basically twice the thickness. This thickness term is basically associated with the cross section. The cross section has been given like this where this wave thing is 3T. This is the thickness T. This is the base of 0.75 times the T. The height given is 3T and the distance between the neutral axis and this given is 2T which is this one. So basically this particular curve which is the first fiber is nothing but this one and rest of the part of T is nothing but this one. So anywhere across this is considered this section XX looks like this. So the problem statement says that determine the dimensions of the C-frame shown beside. In short all the dimensions are parametric, they are in terms of T, so we need to find out the thickness T. It is sufficient to find out thickness T so as to completely define the dimension of this given C frame. They have provided us with this material property which is the ultimate stress 200 Newton per millimeter square and factor of 53. Students, one thing that we need to understand is so low value of the ultimate stress indicates that this particular material must be a brittle material. Though this particular aspect doesn't impact this numerical directly but that gives us a better understanding about different material properties. So the low value of this particular ultimate tensile strength indicates that it is a brittle material. So let's move ahead to find out the thickness T so that it can define the parametric terms completely. Now it can be seen that the cross section is subjected to two types of stresses. The first one is direct stress and the second one is the bending stress. It is quite obvious that the bending stress will be maximum at the inner fiber and the direct stress will act over the complete surface or cross section. In the adverse case, both the stresses will act together and that's why the total stress will be considered using both of them together. So it comes out to be BI, which is the bending stress at the inner surface. The formula simply becomes bending moment to HI, area of cross section with eccentricity and the inner radius. Where the direct stress will be given by the load P divided by area of cross section. We have been given the ultimate stress value and we have been given factor of safety. So let us write the expression here itself. It's going to be 200 divided by 3. So this is what the main expression that we are going to look at and evaluate the answer for the unknown parameter T. Now let us proceed one by one. Let's start with the value Rn for the given cross section. Now given cross section is a T section and from PhD data book we can easily figure out this particular expression. Let's substitute the values of the available parameters. Now certain terms we need to understand precisely because the cross section values are given but we need to convert them in terms of the radii, different radii of curvatures. So let's start one by one. So before we input the expression let's do it beside it is understood that the radius value or the thickness value has to be t in our case the next expression is the width the inner width 
will of course will be three times the t the h size which is basically three times the t we have been given the cross section the inner radius is directly given which is nothing but two times the t so it is quite obvious that the outer radius which is nothing but the inner radius plus the h value comes out to be five times the t and the last thing is the actual thickness expected in our problem is 0.75 times the t value let us mention it t dash for the sake of understanding so these are nothing but the parameters that we can figure out based on the given images or figures let's substitute these values here comes out to be t interlock to the base E. If we see this again, each and every term of this expression is in terms of T. So T is the main common parameter that we need to take out. So the final Rn value comes out to be three, four times the T. The value will also be in millimeter and that's our first finding. Let me quickly revise that this particular expression which is quite lengthy you need not mug up we can always find them from PhD data book for the reference purpose. Moving ahead let us find out the component R where Ri is 2T. The H value here is 3T. Ti value is T. Di value is 3T minus 0.75 times the T. Is nothing but the dash component of t that we have here also it becomes we seen that this term is also in terms of t and at the end we can find it out like r is equal to three times the t expression number two now moving ahead with other parameters we can easily figure out the value of e comes out to be the value of h however is comes out to be and the area of cross section for this particular t is the wave area plus the flange area so these are the important parameters that we have found out now let's move ahead to find out the bending stresses direct stresses and equate them to the main equation so the bending stress will be basically force into radius r the force that we have been given is 10 kilo newton which makes it 10 into 10 raised to 3 the value r here is 3 times dt so it makes it newton millimeter and hence the bending stress at the inner radius or inner fiber comes out to be the area of cross section and the inner radius which is 2 times the t. After evaluating this expression we get sigma inner value is equal to so the bending moment in this case will become this particular expression where r 
is nothing but the radius from the or the radius of curvature or the distance of the curvature of radius from the center axis and hence it actually becomes 2 times t plus 1000 and hence this particular expression comes out to be 2t plus 1000 newton per newton millimeter in that case this expression does not remain the value i heard of this when we are going to find out the bending moment equation and find out the bending stress let's substitute the values the value here comes out to be 2t plus 1000 after using this expression we will get a very straightforward but lengthy expression in terms of t let me write it down for you The expression since is of the stress will have this unit newton per millimeter square whereas the direct stress in our case will become divided by area of cross section at the end we have arrived with the expression that we have already derived let's substitute the values after substituting the value of this and this we can understand that there is only one unknown which is t and therefore solving this expression we will get the value of t is equal to let me write down this another side which is 200 divided by 3 let me quickly revise after substituting these two expressions here which is quite lengthy i am avoiding that step and directly switching back to the next step where we can find out thickness t and it comes out to be in terms of a quadratic equation Let's write down the quadratic equation and that is now this quadratic equation can be expanded like this and after evaluating this expression we'll get t is equal to or t is equal to 100 millimeter so the value are more or less same we have to refer to the since the thickness t is directly proportional or inversely proportional with the value of stress and hence we have to go for the lower value and therefore t is equal to 99.2 millimeter is the optimum solution for the given cross section so there we end with this particular numerical let me quickly revise what we have done is you have considered the c frame and its design analysis says that there are two types of stresses that may induce which is direct stress and the bending stress based on which we have written similar expression then we went on finding sigma bending and sigma t in order to find out sigma bending we are supposed to find out the bending moment and in order to find r we have gone through different parameters like Rn, Rb, Ri, eccentricity E, Hi, etc. etc. After finding out those expressions, we have obtained this particular quadratic equation after solving which we have got the solution. So that was from my side. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.